What's up, West Coast Fire? It's your boy KJ5 to the 2, AJ85. <laughs> Keeping it off the Kizay. This is Dara. Not Dara. It's Dara. Don't say my name like that. It's wrong. I'm sorry. I've, I've actually messed it up quite a bit. I host a Q&A out here on Winter Jam, and I, the first time I introduced her was uh, Dara, and she thought I said Daria. Like it's the depressed not cartoon been the girl. first time, it's every time. So since then, I had to use word association. And <laughs> Dara sounds like Daria. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Go ahead, say hi to the folks here. Hello, friends. My name is Dara McLean. Dara McLean. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of your uh, falsified last name, which is sounds Irish. Is it? It I turns think it's out Irish Scottish. it sounds Irish and Scottish. Turns out we have common ancestry. We've had many deep talks about the finer points of all things Italian. Like pasta. Pasta. And last names. Last names. Uh, what else? Snooky. Uh, we're both equally <laughs> embarrassed. Snooky. <laughs> Snooky of the Snookster. Um, she no. is. She is a real Italian, not an Olive Garden Italian. Yeah, please don't ever. Uh, yeah. yeah, not an Olive Garden. I'm a little less Italian. than half. How, how much? I am really technically a quarter Sicilian, but it's way cooler when you're a rapper than <laughs> something that is affiliated with the mafia. Yes. So. Um, I but embrace it. This is not about me. This is about you and what God is doing in your life and what's going on with your music. You're a brand new artist. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you just share with the people? Uh, how you got started, what's going on, and how you got here. Totally. Um, I have been singing kind of like since I was seven. I joke with my dad, and um, we say that I went through a doctor phase for a second, but really, honestly, I've just been singing my whole life. And around 13, a friend gave me a guitar and didn't really know that it would kind of change and impact my life. At the same time, I found an unplugged Lauryn Hill record, and um, oh my gosh, I'm going started. And um, I grew up as a praise and worship leader and artist who just kind of like formed and developed. And I've always known music and ministry is what has been the goal. And God's so faithful that I'm finally getting to do it to his capacity. So, very thankful. And so this is your first time out here at Winter Jam. Yes. Uh, you are a new artist. Yes. You have to go on while people are taking their seats. Yes, and uh, the lights are up. Do you feel a little bit like dinner theater sometimes? Yeah, and a I want to watch sing and dance. What? <laughs> and you break into I'm a British act. <laughs> She's slightly, um, slightly British, apparently. Uh, and Italian. And Italian. Can you be that? Uh, it, it, no. Uh, <laughs> you are from Texas, is that correct? Uh, born, at, born in Miami, Florida. Okay. Raised in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. So, I'm going to ask the very important question that probably spans the universe. Uh, seeing as we're out here on the west side, best side, left side. I can do that. Coast, uh, Wait, it's west Coast Fire. Did you just... Did you just do what we thought you just yes, did? Yes! Am I not supposed to be? <laughs> Let's I cut love that. Did you totally just flick the camera off? <laughs> What did you do? I did that. That's close, but you just here. Let's help her. There you go. I, I there you go. Know. Yeah. There like, you go. Like, and you'd be like, oh, I thought I had that. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. edit that out of post. Or I maybe not. I, anyway, speaking of the dub, what I wanted to ask you was Texas. It's the dub, the W, West Coast. Yeah, it is. Okay, so speaking of the dub, uh, in Texas you have Whataburger, correct? Yeah. Uh, UCC saying it with disdain. So the real question is. Water burger versus In and Out burger. Which wins? In and Out. Prison rules. In and Out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know right. anything about prison. Cut, wrap, print. We're done here. <laughs> uh, no, let's talk about your new your new record. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I I you have a song called Suitcases. Yes. Really cool imagery of comparing the baggage that we carry, right, mm -hmm. compared to our relationship with God. Yeah. Uh, explain that song. What it's you know what the what uh what, what made you want to say that. What made you want to put that song out? Yeah, um, my dad was speaking, so my parents, full-time business, full-time ministry, but we, we do ministry together as a family, which is one of my sweetest, sweetest things. And my dad was speaking one Sunday morning, and he said, you can't run when you're holding suitcases. And I said, I believe there's a song in that. And uh, God's so good, you know, how he like drops melodies and lyric on your heart. And basically, it's kind of like the very thing that you need is the thing that you get to sing about, which is, or rap about, mm -hmm. which is amazing. Um, and really, honestly, it's about leaving the baggage of the past behind and understanding, like, even if failure just occurred yesterday, that freedom actually is available in every area, whether we've experienced it or not. It's like, man, life and life more abundantly is available. So God, as I open up the word, I just see, like, freedom in certain areas that I wasn't experiencing. And on a daily basis, I hope that it's a collective anthem. And we can all um, understand that freedom is available in every area um, daily. Absolutely. Um, so you just came off tour with Cutlass, is that correct? Yes. And so now you're here on Winter Jam. 
Uh, let's be honest, touring is a very guy-centric, testosterone-driven, smelly sometimes experience. And apparently you were stuck on the bus with all the guys. Eleven boys. Eleven boys. Uh, Eleven. Wrong on so many levels. Uh, Go ahead. With um, Anthem Lights. Anthem Lights. A new song and Boys, Cutlass. boys, yeah. boys, boys. But our bus with, was Anthem Lights and Cutlass. Okay, so what is the best thing about being surrounded by all this silly maleness, malenicity? Yes. And what is the worst thing about being surrounded by all this silly maleness? Done and done. Done and done. Done Go. and done. Okay, best thing, first of all. Um, amazing men of God. I really honestly, my dad sat me down. He was like, I really believe that you are going to be surrounded by real men, like men that have a heart for the things of God. And I really honestly in my life have not seen a whole lot of that um, and needed to see that as a young adult woman. And so I saw just men that were in love with the Lord and had a passionate heart um, after him and that are like brothers to me now. I love them all dearly. Um, <clears throat> worst thing, and I love them still, but I don't understand why bodily functions can just like <laughs> happen in front of people. Why? Like, I'm a lady, don't, and they, don't it was almost like category. a contest. It was like they were going for it. And I have, there's one in particular that really went for it. I think you should call him out I right can't, now. I, I think can't. you should. No, I love him. Does it start with cut and end with left? End with left. <laughs> well, no. Does it start with anthem and end with lights? <laughs> he's in Atlas. Atlas. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave that to your own imagination you. to see who this fellow was on the bus. Yeah, but um, he's really artistic and great. <laughs> that makes up for it. Um, would you share something, uh, maybe for those that are out there that are single, that are seeking the Lord on who God maybe has for them? Yeah. Uh, what would you say to encourage them? Because obviously sometimes people get in, you know, into their 20s, maybe into their 30s, and they start to lose hope. They get discouraged. Does okay. God have somebody out there for me? Uh, can Can I find that person? And, and et cetera, et cetera. What would you share with some of these in that situation? Totally. Um, I really believe, like, for me, again, like, as a single adult woman, I have to have, like, a vision of what that area looks like in my life. And, you know, there's a scripture that says about a vision that people perish, and they cast off restraint. Like, they don't even know what it looks like. And so, for me, I've had the purpose to um, remain that way, like, re remain single, be in this moment, and be in this time. And my dad told me, you know, it rhymes, which a lot of church things rhyme, but my dad loves to rhyme with statements. And he said, just focus on the plan. The man's in the plan. I was like, you're right, Dad, I love you, I'm going to cry, I'll be back. Um, no, but for real, it's like, man, every every day just like falling in love with people and being, I think, in the moment and um, desiring like, God, your perfect will today, I believe will be in the right place at the right time. And all the other stuff, like just finding satisfaction and like, okay, today it's enough, God. And as I have, have a vision for what you have in that area, I know you've got a perfect plan, but like really actually like trusting it and believing it for the first time has made me like super content. I'm just enjoying the journey. That's awesome. Totally, man. Where can they find more information about you and what's your record and all that good stuff? Um, so, uh, Dara McLean, M-A-C-L-E-A-N, it's a tough one sometimes, um, but on Twitter, on Facebook, I love to just like hang out on there and connect, so um, please find me, be awesome. Check her out, let's go as far. Throw up the... Can I do it? Do it. How do you do it? Uh, Crap, this way. This way, yeah? Uh, Look, two of them is her. better than one. You just, <laughs> you really only need one. Oh. You just made World War, but that's cool. World War Two. What is this? McDonald's? That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Arches! What? What? <laughs> You're like, what's that?